Okay, so we're staying in Norway for our next football club history video, and we're looking at Tromsø, uh, right above the Arctic Circle. Uh, they're founded in 1920. They play at the Romsa Arena, which has a capacity of 6,687. So it's a smaller stadium, but you've got to remember, Tromsø is not the biggest place in the world, and it is above the Arctic Circle, so it gets bloody cold in winter. Um, before I look at their honours section, we're going to look at... Uh, the, a bit of their European adventures. So they've appeared in quite a few UEFA sanctioned competitions. Uh, most famously, the Cup Winners' Cup. Uh, they've appeared there twice. Uh, their most famous moment was playing against Chelsea uh, of the, back in the Viali and Zola days. Uh, this is when Chelsea would go on to win the Cup Winners' Cup. Uh, Viali scored a brilliant, brilliant goal in the snow in Tromso in 1997, which is a folklore moment for Chelsea fans. Uh, it was one of their most famous moment. But they've appeared in the Cup Winners' Cup more than once twice to be exact. They've appeared in, appeared in the old UEFA Cup, at, now known as the Europa League, multiple times, getting to the group stages twice. They've obviously also appeared in the old UEFA Intertoto Cup. And most recently, they appeared a couple of seasons ago in the UEFA Conference League. They didn't get past the qualification stages. And this is where I don't like the UEFA coefficient. It does um, have a bias towards the bigger leagues. And so it does impact the, the, the so-called lesser leagues across Europe. Uh, when we talk about top flight football, Norway does get impacted by the UEFA coefficient, both for their clubs and their national sides. So it does have an impact, but they have had a, a fun European history. Obviously, most famously, the Cup Winners' Cup. Another fun fact, they're the most northerly side in the world to win major trophies. Yes, because they play above the Arctic Circle and because they've won the Norwegian Cup more than once, they are the most northerly side in the world to win any major honours. Also, they're a well-supported club in Norway. They have fan groups across Norway. So in 18 of the 19 counties that constitute Norway, they have fan groups. So they're supported outside of Tromsø as well as in Tromsø. They're a bit of a cult club in, in that way of thinking. Um, but they are a fun club to look at. They go back to 1920s, so... Uh, that, is, that is interesting in itself. They used to play in the northern Norwegian competition regionally before entering the main league competition. And they currently do play in the Norwegian uh, Elite Seer and Tipper League and Top Flight. Now, their honours. They've only won the Norwegian Cup the twice, which is a shame. Firstly, in 1986 and most recently in 1996. Now, that 1996 Norwegian Cup win meant they obviously entered the Cup Winners' Cup and famously they were knocked out by Chelsea in the snow, in the uh, away leg, in Trump. So with Viali um, having one of the best games Viali ever played for Chelsea, it's an iconic moment uh, in European football. Uh, it, it's when Chelsea go on their way to win their Cup Winners' Cup. And of course, it cemented Viali as a bit of a legend. He already was a legend, but more of a cult hero uh, to British football fans. And he's still very fondly remembered today, even after his passing and his, his post-retirement days, he's still very fondly remembered, not only by Chelsea fans, but football fans across the UK. And that was a key moment, and Trump's so were part of that Chelsea story that season. And So yeah, there's there's a brief history of Trump's so, uh, only the two major honours, but because of those major honours, they have the fun fact of being the most northerly side in the world to win major silverware. That's a little brief history of Tromso, very well supported club, very historical club. Again, another club uh, that's never won a league title but has had uh, success with domestic cup competitions. We're going to come across a lot of them when we do uh, more clubs across Europe, uh, clubs that literally uh, their success has come through uh, winning a domestic cup competition. And in Tromso's case, they've won it twice, the Norwegian Cup. Not on the same level as odds, uh, but their success um, has been more fleeting and limited and of course it's very very difficult to attract players to a club like Tromso especially in winter uh, when you're above the arctic circle and it's dark all the time and it's snowing and it's cold it can be difficult to attract players but they've had some success and they are a bit of a cult club uh, in Norwegian fandom as well they have a big following across Norway which I find very interesting and there we go there's a brief history of Tromso um, and of course, everyone remembers that Cup Winners' Cup run that Chelsea obviously went on to win. And in order to win the Cup Winners' Cup, they had to overcome Tromso in the snow in sub-zero temperatures. So there we go. There's a, a little fun video on Tromso. Uh, we'll look at some of the other big Norwegian clubs uh, in time. There's some clubs that are far more successful than Tromso, but I find them very interesting because of that success and that fun fact of being the most northerly side in the world to win major silverware so there we go thank you very much uh, for watching uh, if you are a fan of Tromso um, place your thoughts did you watch any of their European games when they played in Europe uh, they have a good following um, in Norway as I say 
I uh, would love to hear from some Tromso fans. Uh, and But for me for now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, place your thoughts on Tromso uh, in the comments section below. Uh, they've played, as I say, played in Europe many, many times and obviously making the group stages of the UEFA Cup Europa League twice. Uh, they're a decent side when it comes to European football, for Norwegian club standing at least. But for me for now, thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts in the comments section uh, below and I'll have some more content for you guys very, very soon.